myself dr ruchi gupta today i'll discuss the topic physical layer it is the uh, bottom layer of osi reference model osi reference model i have already discussed in my previous lecture uh, there are seven layers in the osi reference model uh, application presentation session transport network dll and physical so it is the bottom Uh, layer of the OSI layer, and we can uh, OSI model, or we can say it is the first layer of OSI reference model. So we will discuss this uh, layer in detail. So what is the functionality or characteristics of physical layer? So in the physical layer, the information can be formed in the form of we can share the data in the form of uh, voice data, pictures, etc. so at the physical layer we have to transfer the data in the form of bits so the data is to be transferred in the form of signals so uh, it will the transmission information it must be transformed into a electromagnetic signals or we can say uh, the data is always transferred in the form of zero or one so it is responsible for transmitting the data and the data must be transformed into electromagnetic signals it is a basic characteristic of a uh, physical layer now uh, if we are talking about the signals so in data communication basically there are two type of signals have been used one is a analog signal and second one is a digital signal so if we are talking about a uh, analog signals so analog signals has infinitely many level of uh intensity over a period of time so <coughs> analog signals are to move from uh, at the many level of <coughs> intensity and in the, at the on the other hand a digital signals it carry the signals in the form of zero or one or we can say that in the uh, digital signals the information is only transferred in the form of zero and one so this is uh, the process that how the transformation of information to the signals suppose at initially when the data is being transmitted we have to transfer the data in the form of text video voice or pictures so it is analog it is analog form uh, the data which is transferred in the form of text voice video audio any multimedia form this is analog information so first of all uh, the physical layer will encode this uh, signals this information into a digital form or we can say it will convert this information into the form of zero or one which is a discrete value so uh, these are the analog signals which i have seen here these the frequency of the analog signals are like that and the frequency of the digital signals are these are discrete so this is a digital signal and this one is a analog signal form so uh, we can say uh, the main functionality of physical layer is encoding it means it will encode the signals which is coming out from the user side it uh, it is in any form it may be uh, a text form voice or multimedia form so the physical layer will convert it into the convert or encode these in analog signal into a digital signal so uh, as uh, i have told you the data can be in analog or a digital form so analog data are continuous uh, as we have seen in the uh, last figure it will be it it is a continuous data and take a continuous value but the data which is in the digital form it have a discrete value uh, and it always take a discrete values like zeros or ones so, uh, so we uh, can easily understand that signals it can be a digital or analog 
so analog signals can have a inf uh, infinite number of values in a range and digital signals have a limited number of values so in the in the analog signals we have a infinite number of values but in the digital signals the values are fixed it is it is either 0 or 1 it is either 0 or 1 so the values are fixed in the digital signals so as we can see the example of a, a watch uh, we have a two type of watch one is a analog type of watch and second one is a digital watch so in the analog as we have seen here in the analog watch we have uh, give the infinite we can give the numbers uh, 1 2 3 4 up to 12 but when we have to convert uh, we have to use a digital clock then we have to show the uh, time in that form so this is digital versus analog clocks similarly similarly the signals are to be analog or a digital signals so this is an example of uh, this is a curve of analog signal and this is a curve of digital signals so as we have seen this uh, figure a uh, this is the horizontal line the x line shows the time and the y show y line the y line shows the value so these are the signals as per the values are comes your uh, the signals have to be vary according to the value but we have when we have to see the uh, graph of uh, digital curve or the digital signals so we have seen here that if we have a value of 1 then it will go upper side when we have a value of 0 it will go uh, uh, down then again 1 it will go up then uh, if uh, nothing uh, zero it it is a neutral line and uh, we have to show uh, the signals in zero or one Z zero means it is in the negative form and one is it is in a positive form so uh, the signals are uh, uh, the analog or the digital signals both signals are periodic signals or a uh, and a periodic signals so uh, what is the difference between periodic or a periodic signals both analog and digital signals it can have a two forms first is a periodic signals so periodic signals it completes a pattern what is the concept of uh, periodic signals the periodic signals it completes the patterns within a within a measurable time frame which is called period and the completion of full pattern it is called one cycle and after one cycle another uh, time frame is coming out and another cycle will be generated second one is the a periodic signals uh, in the a periodic signals uh, the changes without exhibiting a pattern or a cycle which responds over a time so uh, the, these are the examples of uh, periodic signals of analog and digital signals so these this is the curve as we have seen here in the first curve this is your uh, periodic signal uh, periodic analog signal so as we have seen here there is a some uh, sort of cycle is there uh, uh, continuous continuous frames are to be coming out and uh, continuous uh, waves are to be generated in this uh, analog signal similarly when we have to convert it into the digital form so it is a digital version of this analog form similarly this is a one, uh, one type of analog uh, periodic signal this is digital version this is another digital fo analog form and digital form so uh, period in the periodic signals uh, there is a continuous uh, continuous uh, waves are to be generated which is called one cycle and after one cycle is completed the next same similar type of pattern will be generated again and this is called second cycle and the signals are to be generated similarly but if we are talking about the r periodic uh, analog and digital signals there is no pattern of there is no pattern of uh, waves 
so there is no cycle will be generated in our periodic signals any time any signals can be uh, in uh, come in any form so this is a example of our periodic sig signal so we have to we convert this analog our periodic signal into a uh, digital our periodic signals as an uh, analog signals are simple as well as composite so uh, simple signals it cannot be decomposed into a simpler signals uh, we can say uh, uh, the simple signals are the basic unit we cannot further divide it into the another signals but if we are talking about the composite analog signals this is a composition of the multiple sine waves so uh, it is a combination of the sine waves which is come uh, uh, from the uh, sig analog signals so we can uh, calculate the bit and baud rate of the signals uh, uh, in the form of a uh, bit rate which is a bps and baud baud rate both are to be calculated in the analog or digital signals so what is a bit rate so bit rate the definition of bit rate is it is a number of bit interval per second means per second how many number of bits are to be transmitted or in a second in a one second how many numbers are to be transmitted so it is a number of bit interval per second uh, number of bits transmitted during one second this is called bit rate and if we are talking about the baud rate so what is baud rate uh, it refers to the number of signals unit per second that are required to represent those bits so in the bit rate we have to calculate the a uh, number of bits which are transmitted in a in a single second and what about baud rate it refers to the number of signals unit uh, that per second how many bits are to be represented so baud rate it equals to if we have to calculate the baud rate value so baud rate it equals to the bit rate which is divided by the number of bits represented by each signal unit and it is always less than or equal to the bit rate value i have just seen one ex we'll just see one example of this bit and baud rate so the total number of bauds it determines the required bandwidth and uh, not the number of bits so we'll take just one example of this bit or baud rate how we can calculate the bit value or bit rate value or a baud rate value so this is our uh, x axis it show the time value and the y axis it shows the uh, amplitude value so uh, all the signals are to be transmitted in analog form this is one cycle second cycle third cycle fourth cycle fifth cycle so uh, in this case the bit rate bit rate what is the definition of bit rate per second in the one second how many bits are to be transmitted so in the one second here as we have seen in this example uh, one bit two bit three bit four bit five bit so in this example total 5 bits are to be transmitted per second so the value of bit rate here is 5 okay and what about baud rate so what is the definition of baud rate baud rate it refers the total number of signal unit per second okay so in this case per second total number of signals are to be generated uh, here uh, in one second one two se how many in one second total number of uh, this is total one second so in one second total number of signals generated 1 2 3 4 5 so the value of baud rate is equal to 5 okay let me see another example of bid or baud rate 
there is a little bit change in this example. This is uh, x axis that shows the time value. So, it is 1 second. This y axis shows the uh, amplitude value. So, uh, let me see in this example. Uh, in this example, uh, the uh, in one second, in one second, how many bits are to be transmitted? Uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, total 10 bits are to be transmitted in a single second. So, the value of bit rate here is 10 because we have tra transmit total 10 bits in a single second. This is the definition of bit rate. So, here the value of bit rate is 10, 0, 1, 2 bit, 1, 0, this is 2, uh, uh, 2 bit, 1, 0, 2 bits, 1, 1, 2 bits, 0, 0, 2 bits. So, we have calculated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, total 10 values are to be transmitted in a single seven, a second. So, the bit rate value will be 10. Now, we come on the baud rate. So, baud rate says that how many signals are to be generated in a single second. So, this uh, in this 1, 1 signals, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, total baud rate, baud rate value will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here the baud rate value will be 5. So, we have to calculate any uh, times we can calculate the value of bit rate and the baud rate. So, this, uh, this is the whole process that how we can uh, transmit the bits in the uh, and we how we can calculate the bit rate value and the baud rate value. Now, we come on encoding. So, as I have already told you that encoding is a mechanism for converting the signals into the digital form. So, there are number of uh, conversion methods available. So, these are the conversion methods, uh, four type of conversion method, digital to digital method, analog digital method, digital to analog method and analog to analog method. So, these are four methods of conversion or encoding scheme. So, how we can convert if we are uh, talking about the digital to digital encoding. So, in digital to digital encoding, we have just to convert the bits into the digital form, into the uh, waveform. So, for example, uh, we have taken an example like 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is our digit, the data is in digital form. Now, we have just convert it into the uh, uh, digital sine waves. So, this is our x axis. This is our y axis. It denotes the time value. It denotes the time and y axis denotes the value. So, uh, initially, we have 0, so it is 0, then a 1, it is a positive value, then 0, 0, then 1, 1, 1, for 0, then 1. So, it is a, it is, it is the uh, digital sine wave that how we can, uh, convert any discrete or digital value into the digital sine wave. So, there are number of uh, digital to digital encoding schemes are available. First is a unipolar method, second is a polar method and third one is a bipolar method. So, in the unipolar method, what is the definition of this unipolar method? In the unipolar encoding, we have used only one voltage level. Okay, so let's see the example. Uh, if we because it is a digital to digital conversion method, so uh, if we have a value 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So we do nothing, we have just take the one voltage value. So if we have 0, it is shown to the uh, timeline, then 1, it is uh, positive line, then 0, 0. Then 1, 1, 
1, 0. Simple. We have just converted it into the uh, digital sign wave. It is a unipolar method. So, second is a polar method. In the polar method, we have used two voltage value. So, uh, one is for negative. If uh, one, uh, if we have zero, then uh, it is called negative, and if we have a one value, then it is called positive. So here we take two uh, voltage value, positive or negative. So there are three type of polar methods schemes: NRZ, RZ, and Y phase. NRZ is also divided into two part: NRZ L and NRZ I. Y phase method is divided into two part Manchester and differential Manchester encoding. So, first of all, we are talking about the NRZ and NRZL. NRZL is dependent upon the state of the bit. So, we'll take one ex here. We'll take the example. If we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, 0, it means here we'll take it a uh, positive value, positive voltage value. Then 1, we go negative, then 0 positive, for 0 negative, then 1 negative, 1 negative, 1 negative, then 0 positive. Now, when we go on to the NRZ, NRZ i, it is inverted. It will be inverted if 1 is encountered. So, suppose 0 is coming, then 1. Once we have encountered the value 1, then inverted, then 0, it become negative value, then again negative value, then 1 positive, again 1 encountered, then, again, then it inverted. So, the same process will be repeated again. This is an RZ I encoding method. Now, we come on RZ encoding. In the RZ encoding, a 1 bit is actually represented by a positive value and 0 represent the negative value. So, uh, the values are 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, we will start with 0. And second thing, it requires two signal chains to encode one bit and therefore occupies more bandwidth. Okay. So, 0, then 1 positive value, then 0, 0, 1 positive value. 1 positive value, 1 positive value, 0 negative value, then positive value. So, this is RZ encoding scheme. Next is the Manchester or differential Manchester encoding. Uh, in the Manchester encoding scheme, uh, 0 will start there and half of the, at the half of the wave, uh, we will start the next value. So, in Manchester encoding, the transition at the middle of the bit. It is at the middle of the bit and it is used for both synchronization and bit representation. So, we will take uh, one example here. We will start 0, 0 positive, then half, after half of the, we will start 1. Uh, the wave is start from here, 1, then uh, in the 0, 0 at half mid of the level, it will start from uh, positive value, then again. Similarly, this process will be repeated. And in differential Manchester encoding, the transition at the middle of the bit is used only the synchronization. And the bit is represented defined by the inversion. It is the inversion. So, same here, we will start 0 uh, with the positive value at middle of the way, we will start 1, then 0, again 0, 1 will start with the negative value, then 1, 1, then 0. So, presence of transition at the beginning of the bit time, it means 0. So, this is all about our encoding and uh, signals scheme, which is the basic characteristics or the basic functionality of the physical layer. So, thank you very much.